just says, be patient. The sun will be back, what, Sunday? Yeah, actually, I think that there will be some amazing sunset picture opportunities tomorrow awesome. night. Okay. Once that front comes through, you'll find it likely at the coast first. Uh, in fact, at the coast is where we're seeing that rain right now. Over to Ridgefield, wanted to show you that I-5 is dry right here, but that rain is, oh, on its heels there. 48 degrees right now from our Alien A camera. Over to our seaside camera, this very moment in time, there are no drops falling from the sky at this particular location, but if you head up to Astoria, in western Washington, this is where we have our heavier band of rain coming through right now. Winds have definitely picked up here along the coast. So for tomorrow, you will be waking up to some rain, a mix of showers on and off for those morning hours and by the afternoon along the coast. You're starting to break away from the clouds as well, but your high tomorrow only 48 on Sunday, much warmer, 53 degrees and not quite as windy. So this is what we're seeing right now on radar. There's that nice stretch of moisture. Again, going from Astoria all the way up to Olympia, this is going to slide on over to the southeast and eventually make its way over to Portland here, probably in the next three hours. Current wind speeds anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour for you at the coast. Madras 32, the Dalles 23, Salem and Portland anywhere from about five to 10 miles per hour. So mountain weekend forecast. This is significant. It's the middle of April. We're still getting snow. So this is some good stuff here. Tomorrow's high only 25 degrees. Windy in the morning. Wind gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. Snow totals could range anywhere from two to five inches. And that also includes mountain passes where we could see one to two inches just on the roadway. Sunday, nice bluebird day, 37 degrees and not as windy. So let's take a look at your potential snow totals. If you are going to be heading up into the Washington Cascades, maybe you're going to use Stevens Pass, for instance. That's where a winter weather advisory is going to be in effect tomorrow because snow totals there could be a little bit higher with snow levels going all the way down to about 2000 feet. Government camp again anywhere from about one to two inches possible. That chance for snow stretches all the way down to Mount Bachelor and over to eastern Oregon. Current conditions here in Portland, 49 degrees, mid 40s for you tomorrow morning. And so for timing, here we go. This is 4 o'clock in the morning. Heavy round of rain coming right on through. Now behind that front, colder air filters in, but then everything starts to break up by tomorrow night, leaving us with a pretty nice day ahead for Sunday. Take a look at this seven-day forecast. So here we go, 52 tomorrow. Sunday 61, adding on to that Monday, Tuesday, upper 60s. And hey, by the end of next week, it's like, what happened to April? We're yeah. into the end of May. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Just ahead.